Most River State public workers here are dressed in black clothing to mark this year's Workers' Day celebration, which is holding today after it was postponed by a day due to religious activities. Some of the unhappy workers say they decided to mourn rather than celebrate because of low wages. According to them, they have made several pleas to the state government for the implementation of the minimum wage, all to no avail. Workers in River State have not had their promotions and as a result have been earning the same salary since this administration came to power. Retirees have continued to die in their droves without the government showing any concern or empathy. It is shameful to say the least that a government who prides itself as a responsible government will allow people who devoted the better parts of their lives to work for the state to resort to fasting and prayers in public before realizing that this is going to need their little benefits to stay alive longer. This is not fair at all. May we at this point implore the government to implement the other recommendations contained in the tripartite committee's report. We would like to draw the attention of the government of River State to the systemic fraud being perpetrated by the River State Pensions Board against pensioners of River State. It is in public knowledge that right from the commencement of the contributory pension scheme in this state, government has not contributed a dime to the fund. All deductions have been made solely from the employees' salaries. We are not happy because up to the kids. We have not been paid minimum wage. Secondly, we have not been paid anything as a promotion benefit. We have been sidelined. We are not happy because we are not happy. Because we are the majority of us, about 80% of us, are not happy. Like the big, the big sadness shows that we are not happy because of the working conditions of rivers and workers. He was there in his in address. We have not been, we have not received our entitlement in terms of promotion. We have not received our minimum wage. That is true. It is obvious we have not received our minimum wage. So this is the nearness of workers and rivers. We cannot be in a place like this river state, the treasure base of the nation, and the civil servants in river state. We can, you heard what is happening at the pension, the pension. We are not talking about being that it. We are not it. So that is, we are crying. Indeed, we are mourning. And it's unfortunate that it's happening in this administration. Deputy Governor of the state, Ipalibo Banigo, who represented Governor Newsom Wiki, insists that workers in river state have been treated fairly. We commend the workers of our state for their passion and commitment to the development of the state. We urge public and private workers in the state to remain productive and committed to carrying out their duties. The River State Government has been paying the minimum wage ever since... has paid all outstanding monthly pensions up to date. But uh, it, it is sad here that, uh, like you heard when the uh, deputy governor was uh, making her comments, uh, the way the booing, shouting, the no, 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 and all that, that shows that uh, workers in rivers are actually not happy. They've made mention of promotion, they've made mention of a lack of employment, they've made mention of a lack of pen, uh, uh, pension gratuities, and all that. So um, it doesn't speak well for a system. This was an opportunity for the governor to come and present himself and then talk to reverse workers, talk to the people he actually thinks he's representing. I'm sure if today was a day for PDP affair, the governor would not miss it. I'm sure if today was a day for political discussion, the governor would not miss it. Some pensioners who previously protested are also calling for the payment of their entitlement, but the head of service in River State, Rufus Godwin, says the state government is not owing pensions.